your storm track seven forecast on KWWL. Good Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Kyle Keel. We'll watch for a few areas of flurries or freezing drizzle early this morning, not causing too many issues on the road. So that is certainly the good news. Otherwise, we'll just plan on a cloudy sky today, tomorrow and Thursday. I've upgraded to tomorrow into the yellow just to make you aware of those flurries and light snow showers that are possible here that could cause just a few slick spots. As I mentioned this morning, not looking at too many slick spots. However, we will have a cloudy sky with patchy areas of drizzle. By lunchtime, yeah, not expecting much of the way of drizzle, but those clouds are going to hang tight. Keep a light northwest wind at 5 to 10. The wind will become even more light here as we head into tonight, so that could lead to a few areas of patchy fog. Otherwise, plan on another cloudy night. But notice off to the west of I-35 here, we start to see that snow move into the state, and that's a part of a weak disturbance that's going to get in here by early tomorrow morning. Here we are at 7 a.m., and you will notice a little bit of light snow in our western and southern hometowns. That's going to continue to track east as we head throughout the morning hours and even lingering into the afternoon. But notice it's not terribly organized, nor is it very widespread, so we're not looking at much in the way of accumulation. In fact, any accumulation likely going to stay less than a half inch. Then we're back to just a cloudy sky here as we head tomorrow night into Wednesday. Cloudy sky is what we're going to see today after we get rid of the patchy freezing drizzle. Temperatures will be in the middle 20s to near 30 degrees. Keep a light northwest wind at 5 to 10. Tonight, it'll be just a touch cooler than what we had around here this morning with the temperatures in the teens. We'll keep that cloudy sky with some patchy fog and a light and variable wind. City by city forecast has your chance for light snow tomorrow. Temperatures over the next couple of days will be pretty consistent in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees. But you'll notice with the storm track seven day forecast, you have that chance for light snow on Friday. But that is the start of a warm up as we could have highs close to 40 degrees on Groundhog Day and into caucus day Sunday and Monday.